Each year, more than 1 million people volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. And this month, it's all about the women, Women Power, Women's Week is June 24th through the 27th. And joining me this morning, a couple of good friends of Channel 7 and Channel 20, the head of Habitat for Humanity's uh, development, Sandra Cobb, and the director of development, Tara Franey. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. We always Thanks. appreciate being here. And I have been out on the site for Women's Week. Yes. And I tell you what, it is no joke. I mean, they are building houses with the best of them. And, and what will they be working on during the week? Yeah, we are so excited. This is our third year with uh, the Ford Fund nice. sponsoring Women's Week. So we're so nice. grateful to them and for them um, helping us to focus on our women volunteers. Mm -hmm. We're going to be having women out June 24th through the 27th. And Sandra uh, can let you know. Yeah. So we're getting ready for the Blitz Build that you know is coming up in August, right? Mm -hmm. So the women are helping us to get ready for that. They'll be building wall components, walls, and they'll also be decking. That's a lot so of work. It, that's a yeah. lot of work, and if anyone can pull it off, the women can. I, I believe it. I believe <laughs> it. And and that brings up the point. A lot of people who have never volunteered for yeah. Habitat for Humanity are like, oh, I don't know if I, I have enough skills to take part. What would you say to those people? Well, you know, Alicia, we have the leadership out there, the vo trained volunteers and trained staff that are more than willing and able to show the volunteers everything they need to know. So if you're picking up the hammer for the first time, uh, come on out. We, we'll show you what you need to know. We'll stretch you as far as you want to go but you know we won't take you past your comfort level but women are often surprised about how much they can do on a bill it, it, it'll be so much fun and they'll learn a lot it, it's it is a fascinating experience and these are some of the pictures from last year's build mm -hmm. look at all those strong women with their hard hats I know right? <laughs> right now it's it's not too late for people to get involved in this right here it is not um, and just sort of piggybacking on what Sandra said we hear so many people saying that it's on their bucket list. Mm -hmm. So we just want to encourage people out there, do it. This right, is a great right, time. Right. Just give us a call, Sandra. We'll let you know how um, you can get involved. What are the requirements to volunteer? Well, we, you don't have to volunteer all all the days. Just one day if that's all you have that's available. It's it's an eight-hour day. Uh, you just need to sign up. There, it, it is a fundraiser for us, so there there's a small donation that we're asking volunteers sure. to make. Uh, but the deadline is tomorrow. Coming up. It's coming up. All right. If, if you twist my arm, we could extend the deadline if you twist my arm. Okay. Um, okay. That could happen. That could happen. <laughs> but um, go to our website, HabitatDetroit.org, and find out more information about the Women Build and sign up. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, we are such big fans of Habitat for Humanity Detroit and everything that you do to help transform neighborhoods and families' lives, for that matter. And we have the buildup uh, with Habitat coming up on August 8th. So if you miss this week with Women Build, you can always volunteer to help out with the buildup. But I tell you what, this is one of those, those events that really has a it, it is fun but it does a lot of good mm -hmm. at the same time mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. and so yeah. for we women need your help. they can come on out you have to be at least 18 is that it for yes okay for, for, to, to work on the project and and it's bigger than the houses to your point Alicia it is about the families the families who are doing their part they're going through the training the education the sweat equity right. and they just need the the partnership you know come yeah. help so you're helping the families Absolutely. get ready to get into the their new homes. We wish you all the best. Hopefully you'll get some last minute signups Thank you. in the next day and Thank a half. You. Thank you so much. Thank More information so much. on WXYZ.com. We'll be right back with the news brief.